यीशु है सच्चा गडरिया उसकी हम भेड़े हैं ला 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 Welcome back to the other 167 I'm Vandana and I bring you greetings in the mighty name of Jesus Christ our true living God Friends today I will tell you something about my best friend you know my best friend shifted to New Zealand and what was her name um can't remember her name you know that's what happens we forget the names of our best friends but you know what God never forgets us he never forgets our name he's the one who's given us name how precious we are in his holy sight he knows us by our names and he calls us by our names how great is that so to talk about this in her beautiful words and encouraging words we have sister vijaya fernandez with us so let's welcome her Hello friends welcome to the other 167 today i'm going to talk about jesus came to seek and save the lost once jesus entered jericho and he was passing through jericho there was a man named zacchaeus he desperately wanted to see jesus he was the chief tax collector he was a very rich man because of his short stature he was not able to see jesus He had a plan. He knew Jesus was going to pass through a certain way. So he quickly ran ahead and he climbed on a sycamore tree. So when Jesus passes by, he could see Jesus. Jesus came through that path. And Jesus stood near the tree where Zacchaeus was. Jesus said, "Zacchaeus, come down. Today I'm going to stay at your house." Zacchaeus was so excited. He came down quickly and he received Jesus joyfully. The crowd was watching and listening to the conversation between Jesus and Zacchaeus. They were very upset and they grumbled saying, "How can Jesus stay at Zacchaeus' place? Zacchaeus is a sinner." Zacchaeus was with Jesus. Zacchaeus said, "Jesus, I give half of my money to the poor. If I have robbed anybody, I will restore fourfold. Jesus said, "Today salvation has come to this house." Zacchaeus is the son of Abraham. I have come to seek and save the lost. There are three important things we can learn about Jesus from this passage. The first thing is Jesus knows our name just imagine zacchaeus was just waiting on the tree to see jesus jesus not only took notice of zacchaeus but jesus also called zacchaeus by name imagine how excited zacchaeus was knowing that jesus knows his name jesus knows our name when Saul was persecuting the believers he was on his road to Damascus God called out to Saul saying Saul Saul why are you persecuting Saul did not know Jesus but Jesus knew Saul amen bible says fear not for i have redeemed you i have called you by name you are mine Jesus said I am the good shepherd my sheep hear my voice and I call them by name no matter who you are Jesus knows your name amen the second thing we can learn about Jesus is Jesus sees value in every person in those days the tax collectors were not very famous they collected very heavy taxes from the people and they made life difficult for people so the people didn't like tax collectors they actually hated them and zacchaeus was the chief tax collector so they disapproved of zacchaeus they didn't like zacchaeus but the bible says jesus 
showed love and compassion to Zacchaeus. Zacchaeus mattered. Amen. God sees value in every person. Once there was a shepherd and he had hundred sheep in his field and one sheep went astray. What did the shepherd do? He left the 99 in the field and he went looking for the one that was lost. And he kept searching and searching till he found the one sheep that was lost. And when he found the sheep, he was so happy and so excited. For this shepherd, all his sheep were equally important. For God, all of us are equally important. And God sees value in us. That is the reason why he gave his son Jesus to die in our place. Amen. God values every person. The third thing we learn about Jesus is Jesus wants every person to be saved. Amen. The Bible says, The Lord is not slack concerning his promise, but he is long-suffering towards us, not willing that anyone should perish, but that everyone should come to repentance. God wants every person on this planet to be saved. Amen. The Bible says, As many as receive God, to them he gives the right to become his children. The word saved comes from the Greek word sozo, which means Jesus has purchased healing for us. Jesus has purchased forgiveness of sins for us. Jesus wants us to walk in prosperity and Jesus wants us to be delivered from the evil one. Amen. God wants us to be saved. Jesus died so we can walk in the blessings of Abraham. That is why Jesus said, Zacchaeus is a son of Abraham and he deserves to be blessed. Amen. No matter what people say about you, but God desires that all of us should be saved. Amen. That is why Jesus said, go and make disciples of all the nations. Jesus wants us to go and tell everybody about him. And Jesus wants every person to be saved. Amen. So three things we learn about Jesus. Jesus knows our name. Jesus sees value in every person. And the third thing we learn is that Jesus wants every person to be saved because he loves us and he sees value in each one of us. Amen. I hope this message blesses you. I'll see you next time. God bless you. Thank you so much friends for watching this with us. This is Vandana and this is The Other 167. So I'm sure you are highly encouraged and Sister Vijaya Fernandez has explained to us so beautifully that how precious we are in front of our Lord Jesus Christ. So may God bless you to like and subscribe our channel, share with your friends and if you have any prayer requests, do write to us. We would love to have you as our family. So stay blessed and stay tuned to The Other 167.